Hi, Andrew. Nice to uh, have this discussion with you. Uh, maybe we can start off with you sharing uh, what was the vision that you had uh, when setting up Vodafone Business Ventures? You know, it's, it's really good to see you. Uh, and um, yeah, the, the, the background to ventures was, um, uh, as you know, Vodafone's had a very strong philanthropic program. Uh, it comes up 30 years of giving uh, in, in, in next year. And we, um, over the last 10 years, we've really just tried to connect the giving and the technology um, to stop writing checks in the sort of traditional way companies have done philanthropy um, and to try and use that giving and that technology to address specific social problems. And we, we, we sort of call that connecting for good. You'll have seen some of the theme around and, and it's had some really good results, um, particularly, say, for example, in the area of domestic violence, where our apps and our handsets that have been used in multiple markets across Vodafone have, have really uh, made a substantial difference. Um, instant networks, the emergency networks uh, that you all know about, uh, and, and stuff like that has been really powerful. But I think that the real success that we're chasing is scale and sustainability. So, you know, you can put money into something, you can innovate, but unless it really goes to scale, has the biggest possible public benefit and impact, then I think we really have missed, we've really missed the sweet spot. And um, of course, when you want to go to scale and sustainability, there has to be money in that system. People have to pay for the service. Otherwise, you grant aid a project, a piece of innovation. And once the grant aid is gone, the innovation on the whole falls off a cliff. So the whole point of, of Ventures was to um, create a social enterprise within Vodafone um, and Vodafone Business have been absolutely amazing at hosting this program. Uh, Vodafone Business, under your leadership, has uh, very kindly offered to host it. Uh, we have a team working in there led by Amit Chakrabarti, who's not a foundation man. He's a commercial man, um, but with a very strong purpose headset. Um, and, and that's the history of it. That, that's how it came to be. Oh, I really like that because I think from, you know, a, uh, just speaking for Vodafone Business, it brings together many of our core competencies. It brings the power of our scale, the reach of, of customers and partners that we naturally have as a business, but grounds it in purpose, right? And so in all my engagements with the teams, um, I found that uh, this linking of purpose with our core competence and the scale that we bring is hugely motivating because then they know that it's really going to make a difference. Uh, and make a difference at scale. So I, I really agree with your point on on the scale importance of scale, and therefore you need to have an economic model behind it. And one of the things I think when we first met uh, and and you arrived at Vodafone, uh, you shared something of your experience at Tata, and and the the power of business to to make a contribution in society. I mean, I think Tata's been doing purpose for 120, 130 years. And I just wondered whether maybe you wanted to share a little bit of that, um, of that background and what you brought from Tata and what is exciting you about the technology and, and the business uh, company which you're leading. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to. So as you said, Tata has a very uh, rich legacy in, in terms of philanthropy. Um, and and the interesting thing is it's not even considered philanthropy. The, it, we we really speak used to speak often I should say of how um, what we do for our communities is as important as making profit. And the reason we would make profit is so that we could reinvest in the communities and create that um, that, that wonderful cycle. And that that's been going on for 125 years. And the, the thing that it ingrained in me was you can be a for-profit business and at the same time make a huge impact on the communities that you serve as long as you are awake to that responsibility and you actually think about it every single day. Um, and to be honest, coming into Vodafone, um, I from the outside, I didn't know that um, we had Vodafone Foundation and we didn't know we had Vodafone Business Ventures and that there was a strong sense of purpose uh, in the company. And I have to say that this would be my single biggest finding, which has really um, warmed my heart coming into Vodafone on how much our people care about living purpose and that it's not just a bunch of slogans that sits on um, you know, corporate PowerPoints or on posters on walls. 
and and actually people uh, talk about it they challenge us uh, 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 on a on a daily basis so it's really nice to see and the 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 business ventures approach is the one that i've seen work most effectively and what i like about ventures is we're taking that one further step is to actually make a business out of it um and 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 i believe it prolongs the life and increases the impact uh, even more so um I, i'm i'm delighted uh, to see that uh, we have a similar ethos uh, in uh, vodafone we're not 125 years old yet but we are well along the way and but these are the kind of things that i sincerely believe uh, and i've seen it from experience leave a lasting impact on the market that sets you apart from other companies attracts better talent and makes people get out of bed and want to come to work because you know business is stuff but when you lay a business with with purpose you know it, it becomes natural and and it, it truly inspires and gets the best out of people mm-hmm. um, i think we see that you know from 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 the two areas we're working in at the moment so uh, i mean the 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 challenge and, and you will know this from from the vast organization you're leading um the opportunities are a million <laughs> many you, you know what i mean the the uh, only yesterday i had a a, a charity um uh, you know that that i was talking to who are um an advocacy charity around care so looking at the quality of care across every care provider in the uk um they won an award from the national endowment of science and technology a good award system they won one of their awards they're using chat box to to take people's initial calls before they then go into more detailed conversations with people and then they're analyzing the data from the chatbot as to what are the number one issues that that those who are phoning up care helplines have across the UK i mean there're just so many ways that our technology and our, and our knowledge could help i think the two things we focused on in ventures um uh, firstly was um connected living you're talking about working with vulnerable people uh you are trying to create a a product that um you know is available for a charitable sector or a sector that is under huge economic pressure downwards um so therefore the technology is great but the technology has got to improve the service for the residents while at the same time enabling the charity who is a provider from the government from the local government to 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 save money so we've been working on that for 2 years i think amit uh, and the team in ventures done a fabulous job we are in 35 homes at the moment uh testing uh you know and analyzing all the information that we're getting back uh, bizarrely one of the things the residents like the most on the app which is uh, my mencap app uh sounds familiar but you know why uh, which is mm-hmm. a my mencap app is is videos of how to you know ha- ha- how to how to cook x how to boil an egg uh, how, you know ha- how to all, you know, simplest thing uh it's not rocket science compared to putting sensors in rooms but but really really popular so that's one area and then the second area that we're we're really working on is um is connected education uh, you know i heard eric schmidt about 7 years ago at an event say that um uh those who have no access to the written word when they get connected have access to everything that's ever been written okay and I I sort of sensed he was absolutely right because you'll have seen this in India uh, I've seen it in Africa you know you you go to visit refugee camps or you go to rural communities uh there's 35 children sitting in a school this is still in the 21st century there's 35 children yeah. sitting in a school there's a blackboard there's one book and the teacher has the book um you know and they are writing down and learning by rote and of course once you bring connectivity to that environment and you bring uh content and you bring hardware and you bring a service level agreement that enables all of that to be sustained at scale then you know we are involved in one of the biggest transformations in history uh namely enabling people to learn in that way so the second area we're working on is connected education um and uh, we have uh, launched a series of products uh particularly in South Africa with Vodacom uh and revenue is now coming into that uh, that product which is a combination of content connectivity hardware uh, etc cetera, etc cetera. so those are the two areas i mean there are millions drones you know there's all sorts of stuff mm-hmm. we get uh as you do i'm sure every day of the week um but we've really i think we just tried to do a few things really well at scale 
um, rather than you know get one idea, then another idea, then another idea, you know. And, and yeah, I think that focus is the focus is really important, and both of those are areas, frankly, that can be expanded into um, adjacencies over time. But f first and foremost, we need to build scale both uh, for what we do with care homes and uh, uh, with connected education. You know, we've all had to educate our kids at home. And can you imagine the plight of those who don't have connectivity uh, at home? And we have, uh, if schools don't have connectivity, imagine the number of homes in Africa or other parts of the world where um, uh, the poorer segments of the population have no access to connectivity and their kids have been left out now for several months and widening the digital divide even more. Um, it bothers me deeply when I, you know, when I think about this topic. But just being bothered is not enough. We need to go out and do something about it. So, building scale on both of these um, is important, and, and I'll help in in every way to mobilize our resources. Vinod, it's been great uh, talking I, I, to you. You know, great, it's great, been great. Chat. Uh, very excited about the work that you're doing in foundation overall, Andrew. Uh, as I said, I was very pleased when we first met and you took me uh, through the work that foundation does um, and it validated my decision to come to Vodafone even more. And Vodafone Business Ventures is something that uh, I, I think is a great idea that and we should be scaling it up even more. And I'll work with my team to make that happen. Really appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, uh, yeah. Really, really. Thank you. Yeah.